Sunbelt Conference on ESPN as we welcome you to Riddle Pace Field in Troy, Alabama for the Sunbelt Tournament quarterfinals. Today, the elimination game as the seven seed at UT Arlington Mavericks meet the number three seed, Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. Ragin' Cajuns third in the conference with 105 doubles, number one in the conference with 55 home runs, and that is one off the fence. Clement never stops, touches third, he scores another double, 17th of the season for Gerard. 26th RBI, and the Ragin' Cajuns take a 1-0 lead. Battle the injury bug this year. Batting over 300 a year ago. Skies this one down the left field line, and a great sliding basket catch by Powell out in left field. Level of difficulty, 10.0. Thought this ball was going to drop. He was able to get there. Just like down the right field line, he slid into it. His knee kind of got caught up in the turf that time. Fortunately, he's up and going, but uh, almost overran that ball. But a great play out there. Originally, the umpire pointed in fair territory like it was a base hit, and then he immediately called out after that. And a nice play by Powell out in left field. 3 2 to Butler. Up the middle, base hit. That's going to play two runs. Here comes Thurman. Throw will be cut off. A two run single for Dylan Butler. And the Ragin' Cajuns have a 3 0 lead. Two runs in the 12 8 win versus Troy. And he socks that one into center field. McLean comes up with it. No chance to get Trahan. And the Ragin' Cajuns have a 4 0 lead on Clements' RBI single. 1 0 pitch to Trahan up the middle. Nice play. McLemore flips to Sibley on to first to Scott and a 4 6 3 double play. We had just talked about it a moment ago with Darren Thomas, but McLemore starts another twin kill. And this one wasn't easy either. The second base umpire Brian Martin right in front of him that time and surprised he was able to pick up the ball. That was hit pretty hard. And there, that dirt bag grinder type ball player hit towards the hole and by Sibley. Here comes Clement, touches third, scores without a throw. The Ragin' Cajuns have a 5-0 lead as Trosclair delivers his 47th RBI of the singles. Called strike three, consecutive strikeouts for Zach Hobbs, both of them looking for the first time tonight. The Ragin' Cajuns run and RBI production and rips this one into left field and the Mavericks are on the board. 49th RBI of the season for Levi Scott. That ties him with Rose for the conference lead, and the Mavericks break the shutout, make it 5-1. to In a conference that in the past has put as many as three teams in. Nice bunt. Trahan is out. Trahan nearly bunts his way on with a near-perfect bunt, pushing the ball to the left of the pitcher, but McLemore again makes a tremendous play. It was a near perfect bump, but it was a perfect play by no McLemore. He was able to just shuffle it with his glove. This was the only play he could have made. Believe it or not, they'll work on that in spring training, trying to flip it with your glove, and no spring training for McLemore yet, but maybe one of these days. But the combination of Guillory and Sharpenshay have shut him down tonight. Called strike three, Farrell. Goes back to the dugout with a bat on his shoulders. Three strikeout inning for Chris Sharpenshay. Be a first round draft pick. Clement. McLemore does it again. How about that? Darian McLemore has put on a show at second base tonight. Another acrobatic play by McLemore at second base. And on the outfield, grass throws out Clement to end the eighth. Runner goes, unabated, ball hit to left field, and that'll do it. Ragin' Cajuns heading back to the semifinals with a 5-1 victory over UT Arlington. Story here tonight, Evan Guillory and the Chris Sharpenshay shut down the Mavericks, limiting them to five hits and striking out 13. And John, we've got a final four, the first semifinal, South Alabama, Arkansas State, followed by our second semifinal, Texas State versus Louisiana. Yeah, it should be an interesting matchup. Early, early start for these teams tomorrow. And as you mentioned, trying to get that first victory, get done with it so they don't have to play two in a particular day. But uh, South Alabama should be interesting where they are. Going to be a nice matchup, Texas State and this Louisiana Lafayette team.